Hey everybody, welcome to Everyday Life. Say hello, Manik. Hi guys! Yay! There she is. She's working behind the scenes today. And, uh, well, today we uh, have a little treat for you on uh, how to make coffee in one of these old percolators. May have, many of you have seen these, you know, in, in uh, camping videos or maybe in garage sales. You've never seen uh, them in actual use. Like, how the heck do you cook coffee in here? How do you make coffee in this? Well, there's four parts in it. There's the pot, the lid. Okay, maybe there's five. There's the percolating stem, uh, the drip basket, also known as the reusable coffee filter, saving trees, and the lid or the basket. And it goes on like that. And you boil the water in the pot, and the water comes up through the stem, right? And it pops up, it bubbles in, and it percolates right through the basket and drips out the bottom. And it makes that beautiful, beautiful coffee, also known as brake fluid or bean juice, uh, cup of joe, whatever you may call it. It's a beautiful, delicious substance in the morning. I love it. Majority of people in North America like it, but not everybody does. Not everybody does. Um, today we're going to even make some uh, Folgers. Yeah, good as any, but you know. Still better than Taster's Nasty, the uh, freeze-dried stuff. You know, you could cook with uh, coffee. You can make coffee uh, about anywhere. Isn't that right, Manek? Hey, yep. Just about anywhere you can uh, put this. Uh, barbecue, uh, Coleman stove, uh, open fire, uh, gas stove, electric stove. Yeah, you name it. Uh, you could put it anywhere. Uh, no electricity. doesn't run on any batteries. Uh, it's good for when uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you want some coffee out at the cabin or out camping. And it tastes just as good, if not better, than the stuff at home. Well, enough uh, yapping about this. Uh, we'll uh, get started. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to boil this water <coughs> first. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, while it's boiling, we're going to fill up uh, the percolating basket with coffee grounds, grinds, the, the ground up coffee and uh, then when the water starts to boil in this big bad boy then we put this in and uh, six to ten minutes I like ten minutes I like a strong coffee six to ten minutes it'll percolate in there and then we'll take it off and uh, take the basket out and pour out some beautiful coffee nice and flavorful bold coffee um, this is an eight cup, eight cup uh, coffee percolator. Um, when you're filling up the water, you don't want to go any any higher than the lines where they start to make a V here. Uh, this is uh, connected to the pouring spout, and if you fill up too much water, you'll have a whole bunch of water boiling over out of the the stem. I, I learned this the hard way. <laughs> the water boiled over all over the stove. Had quite a cleanup to do, and uh, yeah, it was fun. I'm gonna put about a liter of water in. Where did I put that? Oh, uh, oh hey, the, the interactive part of the show. <laughs> Welcome to the interactive part of our video. Alexa, how many cups of water in a liter? Hey Siri, how many cups of water in a liter? Hey Google, how many cups in a liter? One liter is equal to 4.227 cups. You're welcome. So we're going to take about a liter of water, pour it into the pot, and we'll go over to the stove. We'll see you there. All right, so here we are. <laughs> uh, apologize. Uh, we've got... Uh, the, the working stuff in, in, in the shot here now. Um, I've got the stove up to max. I want the pot of water to boil right here. I'm, I'm getting it all obfuscated. There we go. It's uh, sitting nestled nicely on the burner. Pot closed. This we're going to fill up with coffee. 
actually take this apart. I'm putting my thumb over this little hole so I don't get a big mess at my feet. And you put, you know, how much coffee you like, if you like it strong, if you like it weak. Oh, I lost count. <laughs> and one more for good luck. Yeah. So I'm just going to shake it and level it out. And uh, put it right there on the stem. There's the lid. <laughs> so we just wait for the water to boil. And uh, hurry up and wait, I guess, right? <clears throat> the waiting is the hardest part. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I'm boiling up a storm. And I'm using the paper towel here just to put that in there. I'm going to turn this down from maximum down to five and I'll put that in there. And as you can see, the water just starts to percolate up into the basket. Let's put the lid on that there. Safety. Safety first. Just like that guy who always used to say, keep your head up and your stick on the ice. Safety first. So I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes, I like strong coffee. And we will wait and let it percolate. You know, if you don't want to wait 10 minutes, you can, you know, start checking at about six minutes to see the, the darkness of your coffee, how brown it is, and go from there on, on what sort of uh, darkness or strength you like your coffee. And you just lift it up and, okay, well, this is water right now, but soon it will be coffee. I got this thing uh, a few years ago. I was on clearance at, uh, I think it was PV Mart for 11 bucks. 11 bucks. So I didn't even know how to use it. I had to do some searching and some trial and error and I finally got it down. Uh, thanks to uh, several, several pages and videos I've seen. And now, uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident uh, this coffee tastes just as good, if not better, than the drip coffee makers with the pots and crafts. I find this very flavorful, tasty, not as acidic. I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination, but it's good coffee. Good coffee. Okay, here we are at the six minute mark. It's starting to look more like some bean water here, some coffee, getting a little darker. Not quite dark enough. It smells really good. 
And everybody, I think everybody loves the smell of coffee. Well, as you can tell, my beautiful wife is not a coffee drinker. Nope. Nope. I say it's a whole lot of caca. If I could tap it into my veins, I still wouldn't I'd drink it. <laughs> but it's it's good. That's how much I like it. I drink coffee. <laughs> Is it ready yet? Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two minutes for looking so good. All right, ten minutes. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a nice dark coffee. Nom, nom. Wow. Let's take this off the heat so it stops uh, percolating. I take one. Folded up paper towel, so I don't, I don't want to burn my fingers. This thing's obviously very hot. Yep, it's very hot. Still dripping. I should put that there on a plate somewhere so I don't make a mess. There we have it. Coffee out of an old fashioned percolator. Want to take the first sip? Tell me what you think. Oh, okay. You want cream in it? Sorry, I drank it black. Mm. Bold flavor. Well, until next time, keep on cooking. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.